Hello viewers, welcome to the session on pre-processing in machine learning. Please make sure to watch this video completely. This is because the topics covered in these videos are the foundation for all the hands-on session that we are going to cover in the upcoming videos. And moreover, when you are able to understand these basic topics, then you can upgrade yourself to the machine learning models. So I want you to look into this video completely. And the topics which we are going to cover in this video are how to read a CSV file in a Python and also how to split independent and dependent variables in Python and moreover how to use imputing techniques. The role of imputing techniques is that it is not possible that we always get completely filled dataset and sometimes there may be a raw facts and figures that might be missing and at that time we may fill it with appropriate mean, median, more or most frequent what we say and we will be looking it in our hands-on session, don't worry and moreover we have also covered label encoding and standard scaling so without waiting, let's jump into the hands-on session in order to understand these topics clearly To select the area where your data sets are present and after that you can view what all data sets are there in this and in order to import that what we have to use is we have to import pandas library and we have used the alias pd for pandas so let me execute this chunk of code see it has been executed and whenever i want to use the functions that are defined in pandas i can directly call with its alias that is pd so I'm storing my data set into a data set variable or what we call the data set object and I'm using pandas alias that is pd dot read csv function that is already defined in pandas. So we, we will be using all the pre predefined functions of the pandas and after that we have mentioning the csv file name right here that is preprocessing.csv. Let me execute this chunk of code and now you can see this in the variable explorer that the data set object has been created and it is containing the data set and in this data set we are having the developer places it is Mumbai, Hyderabad, Chennai and yeah three different cities and the age of different employees and their salary and here you can see that these are the, the NAN means the not filled values which are vacant values and it is not possible that every time we will we have to deal with the data set that is containing all the completely filled data set so we should be able to know how to manage or use the incomplete data set and come to a conclusion so we will be dealing with all such possibilities don't worry and let me tell you that how to determine the independent and dependent variable also so independent variables are the variables which are not dependent on each other and they determine the dependent variable or the target variable target variable can be anything such as for example consider that we are predicting the salary of an employee then the salary of an employee what will be the salary of an employee based on his experience can be the target variable whereas the experience which is determining the salary is nothing but your independent variable so similarly in order to split the independent and dependent variables we can use something like this code yeah from the data set i am using the index location for to make this colon indicates that all the records and the negative one indicates that we are ignoring the last column and we are want all the other values let me execute this chunk of code see it has been executed and now you can see that the error has been formed in which only independent variables happen the uh, first column contains the developer place and its age and also the salary of the employee and later let me load the independent data set also that is on basis of these three factors we are determining whether the employee is married or not married so yeah see has been executed so now you are very much clear how to split independent and dependent variables also and moreover as i have discussed that in independent variables we are having this man uh, means unfilled data so in order to fill see these are the ages what we can do if it is unnecessary 
if in a huge data set, if we are having only two, three NAND data cells, then we can um, easily ignore that report. But there might be a situation where some logical can be applied, logical thinking can be applied, such as, for example, here. The data set is containing all the ages between the age of 32 to 52. We may assume that the mean of these ages can be a person of the of an employee who is living in Mumbai. So either we can use mean. Mean, I hope all of you know what this means means. Means is nothing but the behavior of the data, which is nothing but sum of all the observations divided by the total number of observations. And when it comes to median. In median, either you have to uh, arrange all the data in ascending or descending order, and the middle term is known as your median. And in, for more, we have most frequent key keyword in Python. So we will uh, the role of mode is whatever the value which is repeating continuously. If we want to place the same value, then we use most frequent. Let me show this in example now implementing the same thing. So I'm importing the NumPy library and given its alias as NP, let me execute this chunk of work. Yeah, see, this line has been executed successfully. And for filling this NAND value with the mean of the ages, means whatever be the mean of the employees, I want to fill it in here, NAND, and also in whatever will be the mean of the salary. This has to be filled in this NAND. So for that, what I have to do from sklearn library, I'm using impute model and I'm importing simple imputer class. Let me execute this chunk of code. See, it has been executed successfully. And then I'm creating an object of simple imputer class. And the parameters that I'm following is these are missing values. Here I'm mentioning from numpy recognizes the NAN. So from missing values are np.nan. Wherever the NAN is there, I have to use the strategy of the mean. I'm telling the simple imputer. Wherever you are finding the NAND, replace it with the mean of that particular column. So let me execute this chunk of code first. After that, and the model, yeah, this line has been executed successfully. And now I want my independent variables to be filled with that. First, the, for that, uh, I have to fit the required data set here. So what I am doing, I'm passing the array where I want it to be filled as it is in the first and second column. So I have mentioned the index slicing as one, two, two, and the column three is ignored here. So when I execute this chunk of code, let me execute this. See, it has been executed successfully. The imputer has been working finely. It has fitted all the, it has fitted the formula into it. And after that, I want to transform it. And for that, I'm using imputer.transform. And this data set that I want to transform is this one. I want to transform the NAND with the mean of the value and I want to store it back to the independent variable. So let me execute this chunk of code. So it has been executed successfully. Now you can see that in X, the values has been filled with the mean of the whole data set, whole column. The mean of this column has been replaced here by uh, from NAND to the mean. So similarly, you can try with median also. For that, first you have to make it NAN. Let me put this. Yeah. Okay. Now I have given the median. Now let me execute this chunk of code. After the NAN must be filled with the median of the data. See, it has been filled with the median 42 here and wherever the NAN was there, it has been filled with the median of the data. And I want you to try most frequent. Yeah, let me only try so that you can have the clear understanding. When I mention it most frequent, then the term or the cell value which is repeating many times will be replaced there in place of NAN. Let me execute first this. Let's see the NAN is here in the sixth column, sixth row, and fourth row. Let me execute this with the most frequent and let's see what the data begins. And now you can see the data has been filled with the 
most frequent. Here the 32 must be repeating. Yeah, see here earlier 32 was repeating twice. Hence it was filled with 32. So the major logic behind when to use most frequent is consider an example where 80% of the in a data set 80% of them are male and 20% are female. Then if only one record is missing the gender's value, then what you can do? By using the most frequent, you can predict that the missing value can be a male. So that was the agenda there. And moreover, and here in data set, you can see that we were having this string variables Mumbai, Hyderabad, Mumbai, Chennai, and this will be computationally expensive for processing. So, what we can do, we can replace these values with the numerical values such that it makes faster calculations and we get our results very quickly. So, further, in order to replace this Mumbai, Hyderabad, and Chennai with a numerical value, what we have is encoding technique. Further, from sklearn library we have to use preprocessing model and import the label encoder class and we have created an object of label encoder now let me execute this chunk of code first see the same two lines of code can be merged into single line that is fit and transform so what i am doing is only the first column of the independent array let me show you this is containing the string values and I want it to be converted into the in the, here the number of cities are 3 so I want it to be converted into 0, 1 and 2 and wherever the 0 in alphabetical order so wherever wherever there is Chennai we can assume that if 0 comes there then it's for Chennai if Hyderabad comes there then it's 1 and Mumbai it can be replaced with 2 so let me execute this chunk of code so that you can understand what I am saying See, it has been executed successfully and now let me show you. Yeah, see, the same 0 is for Chennai, 1 is for uh, Hyderabad and 2 is for Mumbai. See, it has been transformed successfully. So, this is the importance of encoding. Mm -hmm. And yes, here we, I am having the, how to split the data set into training and testing. See, the whole data set can be divided into two sets. One is training set and testing set. We want our model to be trained with large most of the data. So what we do? Majority of the data set we give it to training the model, and we are going to test the our predictions or model calculations in a testing set, which is uh, in minority than the uh, training set. So the whole data set is divided into training set and testing set. We train our model with training set, and then we test our model. To this testing set and further uh, split we have this class in sklearn library from sklearn library there is a model selection model and train test split class and what does this class does is it splits every variable every data set into training and testing set so firstly the parameters which we are for forwarding here is independent set and dependent set so what will it does is it splits the independent variable into training set and testing set and the uh, y which is nothing but independent variable uh, dependent variable also or target variable into training set and testing set and so that's why the order has to be maintained here that is x train and x test and then y train and y test and we have given the test size as 20 percent it is obvious 80 percent will be taken as per 80% is for training and training the model and here you can give the any random set to keep a track of whatever execution you are doing so I am executing this chunk of code so it has been executed so earlier the data set we are containing 10 records now after this splitting you can see in training it has gone 8 records from the whole 10 records 8 records has been gone for training set and two records has been known for testing set and their corresponding target values have been split here in the training set and testing set yeah hopefully you are clear with this idea and now when to use standard scaling here you can see that in our independent set or training set let me 
so it is here you can see there is a huge difference between age and salary and you want your computational power to be much faster and the scaling here is very large so what you can do you can scale down these two values to a very narrow bottom so that our execution can be faster so what we will do we will try to bring them so narrow or so bottom line that they are very much near to each other so for that we use standard scaling and in order to implement standard scaling from sklearn library we have pre-processing model and import standard scalar class we have to create the object of the same and then i have uh, fit and transform the training set and testing set with the standard scaling yeah let me use this chunk of code so that you can understand yeah so the training set and the testing set of the independent variables have been now standardly scaled down see the values were earlier very huge but now they have been brought down computation this is same as a working of compression means the data set has been compressed to a very narrow bottom so you can use this data for faster calculations And these are the topics which are very basic for the hands-on, for all the hands-on session of various machine learning models. So you must be well aware of all these techniques and practice a lot. I hope this video proved fruitful to you and hope you have gained something extra than what you were knowing earlier. Thank you.